A ritual is a religious or solemn ceremony consisting of a series of actions performed according to a prescribed order. Your freedom, the future that you want to have where you have everything you want and more, where you make the money you want, you have the relationships you want, you build the life that you want, you must treat your freedom like it is your own personal religion. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can use a very specific ritual that worked for me that I've used myself to create more freedom for yourself. All religions stick to a specific code. If you look at any of the great religions in history, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, whatever the religion is that you subscribe to or have learned from Buddhism, they all stick to a specific code. And most people don't realize just how difficult having true freedom is. Most people don't ever acquire lifestyle freedom. Most people like the idea of freedom. They like the concept of having freedom. They like to flirt with the idea of freedom. But freedom itself is actually a foreign concept to them. Freedom exists, and I want you to remember this, freedom exists when you can be in any physical location, you can control your time inputs, which means what you do with your time, you can completely control that, and you can still maintain a high quality of life. And the first piece of my personal freedom ritual, the thing that gave me freedom in my life, where I'm able to live anywhere, I'm able to create income, literally from this device right here, the thing that gave me personal freedom is creating a ritual around future memory. Okay, this is the first step in my ritual, future memory. This comes from psychocybernetics. What I do is I create a clear visual of a very specific future that I want to attain. And everything that I'm going to give you in this video comes from this future memory. Because the future that I have, that I see for myself, future memory meaning I can see, I can taste, I can hear, I can smell a very, very specific future that I want to have, that I want to create for my life. This future to me represents freedom. So what I've done is I've created a construct in my mind, a visual construct of what a future of success looks like to me. And I've created this construct and I live this construct out. And what I do is I think that version of me who is in that location, dating that girl, having those kids, making that kind of money, having those business connections, having those friendships, what actions does that version of me do now to ensure that that version will happen, right? It's like a timeline. There's another book called Reality Transurfing that really talks about this, and I love that book. It talks about how there's different timelines, and you can pick the timeline that you're going to create for yourself. You jump to these different timelines in life, almost as if there's parallel universes. It's some weird sci-fi shit. Imagine there's parallel universes, and all of them end in different possibilities. So there's a version where you're a homeless beggar on the street. There's a version in this universe where you're on drugs. There's a version in this universe where you're the president of a country. I'm not even saying you'd want to do that. But there's a version of this universe where you're that, where you're a multi-billion dollar investor, right? All these universes all end in these different, all these timelines end in these different paths. You take actions today that create different timelines that end in different realities and end in different possibilities. So what I do is I create a weekly meditation on a very specific future that I want to attain and I can see it in my head, I can feel it. Like I, I feel the car that I'm driving, I can feel the leather of the steering wheel under my hands. I see the woman next to me in the car, I have my kid in the back seat and I can see it and I can feel it, I experience it, but it's in the future, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm gonna create it, I'm in the process of creating it. So what I'll do is I'll take a weekly meditation on this future and this meditation follows two specific structures. Number one, and I'm giving you the sauce here, this is what I do. Number one is physical constructs. So what are the smell, what is the taste, what are the sounds, the sights, the experiences that I have within this future reality where I do have this success, where I am this person? What does it look like? And what I do is I anchor this memory onto a physical construct. The reason I do this is I don't want it to just be a concept. I don't want it to just be this like idea. Oh, I'm successful. But what does success actually look like to me? What does success feel like? Not just the feeling even, what does it smell like? And I create a visual representation of this success that I can attach to in these meditations. And the second part of the meditation, the second part of the ritual for future memory is what is the identity of the man who is in that construct? What does that identity look like? 
right? What is the identity? How does it play out day by day, week by week? What does it look like? What does it what does it turn into? That identity, right? Who does the, who does who is that man? Who do I become? What's the identity like? And I craft an identity that I bring into my present. I bring that identity into my now in the actions I take, how I sell, how I make deals, how I converse with friends, how I build relationships, I bring that identity into my present and I weekly will meditate on this identity. And this is super, super powerful stuff. Now, I'm gonna give you another piece to the ritual here, another piece that's gonna help change everything for you if you can do it right, if you do it right. The second piece to this ritual is investing. And investing comes in really five parts and I'm going to break them down for you here, but investing is the next step in the ritual. So first is future memory. Second, we have investing. There's five levels I'm going to give you of how to invest. And in this video, by the way, I'm going to give you the entire ritual that I use for myself to pursue success. And it can change your life if you use it correctly. So stick with me here. Don't just zone out and move on. Number one, the first level is knowledge. You can invest in knowledge. So knowledge means knowledge investing means Investing in information that will allow you to understand and or kickstart behaviors and tools that will ultimately give you freedom. Okay, that's the first level where you're essentially investing in knowledge. Knowledge is the first level. You're investing in knowledge, you're investing in information that is going to allow you to understand or kickstart behaviors and tools that are going to give you freedom, right? So you're starting from nothing. As an example, I have a young cousin. He always asks me for little bits of advice. If I give him some advice, usually it's on investing in knowledge. And it doesn't mean he needs to go out and like buy the biggest course because that's another level. But it starts off investing in knowledge. This looks like books small courses, YouTube trainings, looking at trainings like this that are putting your mind in the right place. A lot of times if you're a very young guy, so if you're listening to this, maybe you're from age like 14, 15, 16, 17-ish, that's when you start investing just in information. You start reading books. And for me, what I found is that sales knowledge is the best knowledge. The place that you'd want to start investing in is going to be sales. It's learning sales because sales is the best skill that is going to put you in the flow of money. Sales directly inserts you into the flow of money for other companies, for business owners, and it gives you a lot of leverage and a lot of opportunities going forward. So sales knowledge is the best knowledge to invest in, but you're going to invest in information that's going to give you behaviors and give you a basic set of tools so that you can ultimately have freedom. Now, the second level, after you invest in knowledge, the second level is investing in application. Now, what this means is working with an expert to acquire his applied knowledge. Applied knowledge is knowledge that you understand how to use, right? So applied knowledge is like the way to use the knowledge. You start gaining your first points of leverage and increasing your skill set. This is where things get interesting. This is application, okay? So application comes down to like, I have this knowledge now. I understand like the basics of sales. I understand exactly what it takes to do sales. I have a couple processes. I know how it works. I'm not uneducated in this. And the second level is application. How do we apply things moving forward? How do we take this knowledge and put it out into the real world and actually have success? Okay, that's the second level. This looks like coaching programs, right? Maybe you do this in a group or advanced courses where you start to work with mentors and coaches that are very, very good at what they do and they mentor you and they guide you or one-on-one support. That's the next level. You work with a one-on-one coach who trains you. This is investing in application. The third level of investment is mentorship. And you have to pay for this. These are not free things. You're you're paying for this. So when I say investment, I'm not talking about investing your time because your time is not going to have a lot of value until you're very good. So right now, the thing you can do is invest income in your skill set. So at level one, Knowledge, you're starting just with books, right? Books, maybe a small course that's $97. Some watch some YouTube videos, you're investing in knowledge. Then you start to invest in application, which is how to use the knowledge. So you get into your first coaching program. Maybe it's you're working with some people in a group or you work with someone one-on-one. The third level is mentorship. And mentorship is where you start working more closely with a high level expert, someone who's very good and who has a proven skill set to have a clear path forward and executable next steps. So this is going to cost more, by the way, it costs you more, but it speeds up the process. So as an example, me in this path, the first skill set that I invested in before anything was I learned dating. I learned dating skills and communication. That was my first skill set 10 years ago. I invested in like how to connect with women, how to understand female psychology. I read a bunch of books. I watched tons of YouTube videos. I went to these workshops. Some of them were paid. Some of them were free in New York. I was broke. I was 19 years old, 1920, and I just invested in that knowledge. The 
second level of that was application. Actually, in a way, I kind of skipped application and went to mentorship because I got a mentor and I started working with him for free in exchange for his mentorship and guidance. And we built a company together, actually. But the second level of this for most people would be application. Application meaning for a lot of guys that I know in the coaching space, then what they did is they got some kind of course on how to scale their coaching business, how to actually properly be a dating coach or how to be someone who's a sales coach. For me, as an example in sales, after I went to application, the first thing I did was knowledge, just reading up on sales. Like, how do you get good at sales? How do you sell things? Then was application for me. Application meaning going and investing in sales training programs. So I worked with a couple people in their program. It was a group program, but I got access to the information. I watched how they did it as best as they could. You know, some of them were great. Some of them were not so good. And I invested money. I spent several thousand dollars actually over a period of a couple of years, like more than $10,000 in sales training and sales mentorship and coaching. I spent quite a lot. And I've had other mentors, of course, but just in sales, I had a lot of application. Then level three is mentorship. So this is where you have more one-on-one -on -one support, personal access and training. So as an example, I brought on a mentor, I hired him and I spent a solid $4,000 every single month working with him, right? For a couple months to grow and scale my business. I've invested in mentors in terms of psychology and like people that understand the psychology of coaching, the psychology of leadership, worked with them as mentors. The fourth level, here's where things get really interesting is access. So access is the next one. This is where it's no longer about knowledge, but instead it becomes about network where it's not just like, I know this information and I can say what I want to say. I can talk, I can talk, but instead it's actually about network, which is like who, you know, so this is where we get into spending money on higher and masterminds, investing in business networks, you know, paying for a better circle of connections. And this is the game I'm playing next. Now, the way I invest is trying to be around people in different rooms, different circles, where it's going to give me more leverage to build out a better training program for my guys in my sales coaching program, right? So I'm investing a lot in higher and masterminds. I'm investing in business networks. This is the next level where it's not just knowledge. It's not like I need information only, but it's about your network. And the fifth level where we're getting really advanced is just opportunity, where you start investing in assets that will bring back returns, real estate, investing in companies, business opportunities. This is where it gets interesting, right? The game goes beyond just I'm paying for the coach or I'm paying for the knowledge. Instead, it's I'm investing in assets. I'm investing in experiences. I'm investing in opportunities where I'm around the right people or I'm purely directly investing in the business and I'm going to make a, a return from that. Now, the next level in the ritual, the next level is what we call using constructs. And this is, I can't tell you how important this is. Constructs is something that fundamentally changed my life and I've been using it for the last few years. I want to tell you one thing and I have nothing to sell you here on YouTube, nothing to sell you at all. But I want to tell you something. If you look below this video, I have a group called Quantum Level. It's a group where I train guys in sales. I train them in communication and leadership and we talk about how to leverage sales skills to make more money. So how to handle objections from prospects. So when you get on a call or if you want to start making money, how do you learn sales the right way so that you can make money? If you get on a call with a prospect, how do you handle the objections? they give you like I'll think about it I want to take this back to my partner how do you handle that because when you're in sales which is my skill set when you're in sales you're going to deal with these things so I made a, uh, um, a program it's literally completely free it's a program and a community there's nothing you have to pay it's a program and a community it's down below and you can click it and you can join and you can watch an entire training program that I have on how to sell I give you the full process I give you all my protocols for handling objections so if you want to get into sales or if you are a closer already and you are in high ticket sales and you're trying to really find that freedom and break past to getting to $10,000 or more per month, this group down below, the free group, is a great place to start. Just click it. Go ahead and apply to join. I don't approve everyone into the group, so if there's something off about your profile, if I don't like the image I'm getting or the feeling I'm getting, I'm not going to approve you into the group. That, that's just the reality. Right now, we have about 300 pending requests right now, requests, so... If you want to come and get some value and learn and step up your game and start making money, click the click the link down below in the description of the video to join the group. I'd be happy to have you if you're the right fit for who we're looking for to be inside this group. It is completely free. You don't pay anything, okay? Just get some value and make money and then come and train with me personally where you have to pay later after you start making a bunch of money, okay? So I want to talk to you about the idea of using constructs. Constructs is something I've been using for the last couple of years. And what a construct is, is it's a tool that I implement in my life. I implement a very specific tool that makes it easier for me to achieve an end goal. Okay, that's what a construct is. It's a fancy word for the word tool. It's a tool that I implement into my life and I use this structure, this construct that makes it easier for me to achieve an end goal, some kind of end outcome. I'll give you an example, environments. 
whenever I want to work, I know that I work better in an environment that isn't just sitting at home. Like right now I'm in my living room shooting this video because I've got quite a nice apartment. It looks really nice so I can shoot videos here. But if I want to work, get on the laptop, create some content, you know, map out more, more trainings for the guys in my coaching program. Like I know for a fact that I'm going to work better by giving myself what we call a pattern interrupt. That's not my home office. I always work better when I'm not working at home. Sometimes I work at home, especially if I'm doing calls, you know, have the microphone set up. I have my office, which is that way. I have an office inside my apartment. Sure. I'll, I'll work from home. Great. I'll accomplish a lot. But generally, I know that I work better in an environment that's a pattern interrupt instead of just my home office. So I'll do calls, I'll train my clients at home, but I'll feel more creative and I'll feel more inspired outside of the home. So what I do is I have specific locations that I'll go to for inspiration and for motivation. That's an example of a construct. A construct is a very specific tool that you use. It's, it's almost like you figure out what tools work for you when, and you know that you'll be able to accomplish an end goal faster. So what I do is I use one of these constructs in my day-to-day -day life and it helps me accomplish the goals that I want. Another example of this is music. Certain music is going to make me feel more stimulated, inspired, and focused. As an example, if I want to crush work, I know that me listening to some classical music, me listening to some Hans Zimmer, some Beethoven, putting on, I don't know, shopping, putting whatever the, the music would be, hearing music that's high vibration energy and high consciousness, something that's inspiring, that has emotional weight to it without words, is going to stimulate me to want to work more. So I have playlists on YouTube that I have set up for getting shit done. Another example would be gym, right? Friend circle. I, what I'm always doing is I'm figuring out which inputs do I have in my life that will help me to create the life that I already have experienced in future memory, right? Which inputs, and I want you to remember this, which inputs do I have in my life? What are the inputs I'm taking in that are going to help me to increase the possibility and the chances of that future memory that I see every day, that future memory I meditate on, that becoming a reality and that coming true, right? That's how I'm, how I'm gaming, how I'm playing this game, if that makes sense. So your inputs, as in what goes in, your mind, your body, your soul, they're going to create outputs, which is how focused you are, how productive you are. And your 20s, this is what's interesting, your 20s is a great time to dial in the right inputs consistently. So now you're in a time, a special time, and I'm going to be in my 30s soon. I'm 29. I'll be 30 very soon in November. Now is a perfect time if you're in your 20s and if you're in your 30s, keep building and keep growing. That's, that's what we're here for. Now is a great time, and I've learned this being in my 20s, to dial in these right inputs consistently and using constructs is a great way to help yourself do this. The next part of the ritual, and I believe we're up to number four here, the next part of the ritual is responsibility, okay? Responsibility to have success because I'm gonna tell you this, my friend, and I really, I really want you to pay attention here because this is so important. The success you want, the reality that you want to have for this future, this future where you see yourself having success, where you see yourself having all the success in the world, that reality that you want to have, it comes when you take responsibility and it requires a lot of responsibility. And I've honest, honest truth is I've only realized this recently. I, I used to take on life with, with a lack of seriousness where it was kind of, oh, I'm good at a bunch of things. I've always been talented. I've always acquired skills very quickly. So I've always been a talented person. So what happened is I would take on these skill sets and I would learn things and my peers would validate me. They'd be like, oh, you're so good, Tim. You're good at meeting girls. You're a great coach. You're good at sales. And I would take on these skills and I would kind of just learn them and I, I would be like, oh, I'm going to just have success. Like I'm going to have success, but there's no real weight and heaviness and responsibility behind the success. And I'll tell you something that's very dark. It, it, maybe it's not to some of you, but to me, it, it feels kind of sad. Um, and I don't share this with a lot of people in general, just in conversations, but I'm going to share it with you here. What's interesting is as I've grown and I've started to move more towards success, you know, making tens of thousands of dollars per month as a closer, uh, running a business that's doing between 15 to 20 to K consistently every month, coaching more guys, helping men get better in sales. Like all these things I'm doing, taking on, taking on these tasks. I've began to feel almost a heaviness in my soul, a heaviness, not a heaviness because, because I don't like what I'm doing, but because I've realized how much responsibility it takes for you, for me, you as a man to get to where you want to actually be. Like the success you want to have, it doesn't come just from you kind of la di da di da. I just exist and I oh I'll just luck into success, right? Like a, a feminine woman can can have that in her life, and, and that's okay. I'm I'm not even trying to say she can't work hard, but a lot of the feminine women I've dated and I've been around and I'm dating, 
that's kind of their their vibe, right? It's like, oh, I just I get get invited on a boat. Oh, there's no real responsibility or weight to it. But as men, and you know, I'm talking to an audience of men. You you watching this are are men. Like the the responsibility to be excellent, the responsibility to push for excellence for your future for your bloodline. Like that responsibility is heavy. So one thing I've learned and part of my ritual is a constant acceptance of the responsibility of greatness, responsibility over my skill set, responsibility to pursue mastery, responsibility to lead myself for you to lead yourself so you can give to everyone else. Right. And I took on a great deal of responsibility in my twenties. I took this on now, um, because I've been coaching from a young age. So I, even though I didn't take it seriously necessarily, this responsibility has always been with me. And and I've realized it more and more as I've gotten more mature and gotten older. And I coach my guys now in our sales program. I train them you know, weekly. I'm training these guys five times a week, talking to them every day, one-on-one. And and one thing I've realized is just how much responsibility greatness comes with. It's, it's an insane amount of responsibility. So taking on responsibility is going to start with yourself. Um, the question that you really must ask yourself, and this is the question I present to you here at the end of this video, is who will you be? Because success comes with a great weight. Success isn't just something that, that you're given. Success isn't something that you luck into. Even the people who are given money from a young age, the people who are given privilege, who are given wealth, I mean real wealth, they, that's not the success. The success for them is going to be finding freedom because if you were given everything in terms of wealth, it won't feel like freedom. You can just buy shit, right? But the emotional freedom, the emotional freedom to live a life that you truly enjoy and that's meaningful, that comes with a great deal of weight. So wherever you are, whatever success you want to have, it's going to come with weight. And that weight comes with responsibility. So I've given you the ritual here. You understand the progression. You understand the steps. And that's all I can do is just give you this. That's all I can do is lead you. As the, the quote goes, you can lead the horse to the water. You can't make it drink. My mom would always tell me that. But that's all I wanted to give you here. And I hope that this makes sense. I hope it landed for you. Um, if you've resonated with this, the next steps would be to come into the school community we have. Click the link below. It's free. You have nothing to lose by coming into the community. I'm going to train you and just give you a crazy amount of value. I even do live sessions that are once a week where you can look at what I do, learn from how I do sales. I ask you questions and dive into you and help you out and give you some value. Um, and of course, the real the real value is coming in and looking at the course we have, which is tons of videos and trainings about how to have success in, in, um, in this game of sales to make money and give yourself freedom the way that I have, the way the guys that I work with personally, my clients, the way that they do. You can do the same thing and I'm rooting for you. I want you to win. Okay, take care and I'll see you either in the school community or I'll see you on the next video that I put out here. Blessings upon blessings. I'll see you on the next training.